Hey, what up? It's Third Degree from uh, ThirdStop.com again, and uh, today we're gonna do a little tutorial on how to track out your beats and reason. I got a request from somebody. It's pretty simple, um, so I figured I'd show them. Before we get into this, just real quick, please do not ask me for what sample I use when you hear my beats um, in these tutorials. I obviously take the time out to make these tutorials for people. Um, and I'm not an asshole, but you know, if you just go on YouTube and find people's beats you like, and then you just want to sample what they sample, that's lazy to me, and I'm not going to support your laziness. Um, and again, I'm not an asshole. I'm just going to leave it at that. Just don't ask me. Do yourself a favor. That's why I don't respond to you, and don't keep hitting me up every single day for a month until you think I'm going to respond, because I'm just going to ignore you. So that said, let's get into this. So basically someone asked me how to track out your beats and reason and it's pretty simple it's a little tedious though um basically starting with a full beat like uh most of you would So if you were watching the mixer, you can see this beat has four critical elements. First one being the melody. So if you want to solo the melody, have it on its own track. And that's really as simple as hitting the solo button. And uh, the only thing to take into account is if you're using like some high-end plugins, um, you may not want to use the reason ones if you think the ones you're using are better. So, for example, on my melody, um, I have it already EQ'd and compressed. So, if I wanted to just not have the reason effects and use do it over again, or some people just wouldn't do it until they had it tracked out and were processing it. But uh, you just hit the bypass button bypass that you bypass the EQ and the compression and then one other thing that people don't think about especially if they're coming from or especially if they're not coming from earlier ver versions and they may not even notice that there's this default mastering suite that also has effects that will you know color your sound in a certain way you can bypass that if you want um, if you like what you have fine it doesn't matter just how you whatever you work so um, that said, um, I'm just going to leave everything as it is. I have the melody soloed. I'm just going to render that track. So I'm going to export the whole song as an audio file, but it's really just the melody because it's soloed. I'll label this melody. And the only tedious part is waiting about seven seconds or so uh, for it to render. But uh, when you're in the computer world, you just want everything to go real quick. So but it is quicker than rewire and um, so that is nice in terms of cabling depending on how fast you cable by hitting the tab button I've already showed how to do that um, second critical element in the song would be the bass solve that out again that has some effects on it I would bypass them if I wanted to I don't so I'm gonna export this Again, the whole song, but it's just going to be the bass. So, call that bass. Call it a day. Next, I have this little filter sweep. to add a little bit of depth to it I guess render that And 
and then the last part is the drums now the drums you most likely want to solo each drum so you solo the drum track and then you if you're using the redrum solo like just a snare file export song you do that for every drum track for the sake of time i'm just going to do it all at once Now some people would just do the drums as a whole anyway and then compress them as a whole, EQ them as a whole, just whatever, however you work, experiment, find out what works for you if you're uh, new to mixing and um, chances are you want everything individual and bust it all together later but um, yeah so we're pretty much done with Reason, now I'm going to move to Acid 3.0 which doesn't have a lot of the rewire feature or doesn't have rewire features um, at all. And uh, so if I was using this program exclusively, it'd be critical for me to do it this way. And most programs, when you import the file, it uh, just shows up already in place. In Acid Pro, you got to manually stretch them across. Do that real quick. And then uh, just pull them to the front. And now we have the whole beat again I can solo just the melody and let's say I want to put effects on the drums I'm just gonna put uh, I guess um, EQ for fun and I'm gonna just show you way overdo it just for fun so you can hear it so basically that lets you really get into a, a program like you know any sort of DAW that lets you straight up just mix get your focus off the beat making into the mixing and um, you know reasons very challenging to mix in because you have so many little sound modules at the end of it so I definitely recommend mixing in another program I get lazy and don't do it but anyways so this is how you do it if you don't want to use rewire the only thing I prefer with rewire is that if I want to make a minor change in the arrangement of the song I can do that without re-rendering everything but if you just want to do it like this it's simple um, not too time consuming or anything and uh, the only tedious part is it doesn't have an auto function to let you do everything at once like some other programs do but um, it really doesn't hold you back at all so yeah check out the site again thirdstop.com apologize about my rant with the samples but it just needs to be said alright peace